Why do you like to be alone? I can be myself. I hate the stress of having to constantly be present in mind when I'm with other people. I love being able to space out and sit in silence and just be in my own head. It is the least stressful condition to be in. People are exhausting, I tend to believe all people have two gas tanks. One that can only be filled up by the company of those you truly connect with, and one that can only be filled up by time alone. And they are different sizes for different people. It's quiet. I'm not legally required to say thanks for the gold's kind strangers, but I did accidentally in this sentence so there you go. I live alone and in my apartment I can do what I want, when I want, however I want. The complete freedom to have a day with no plans and then to spend the day doing as much or as little as I want. No obligations to anyone that I don't make for myself. Spending a lot of time alone is a really good way to learn a lot about who you are, without influence from other people and their opinions or perception of you. I've been living alone for over two years but for the past nine months of being single and, mostly, not dating, I've realized how much I am capable of enjoying my own company. DL, doctor, the freedom and amount of time I can spend focusing on myself is why I like to be alone. Solitude is comforting. When I'm alone I don't have to be scared to be myself and I don't have to pretend I'm feeling fine all the time. I've always been that way, would rather enjoy my own company for countless hours than be around people and feel the need to leave after a while. Because it's nice to be alone with your thoughts and enjoy alone time. My friends are annoying sometimes. I don't have to worry about other people. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Right now I'm planning on getting dressed and taking a leisurely stroll through the park, smoke a joint and get a taco. No time frame, I'll get there when I get there, I'll get back when I get back. Then I'll do whatever I want for the rest of the night. Alternatively, last time I was at my friends and they had the radio on and it was the worst fucking station around. In my opinion, it is nice to be alone every now and then, as it is allowing you to self-reflect and enjoy some quality time with yourself. However, in a more permanent level, I have seen it wrecking my mood and leading me to a state close to depression. Balance does the trick for me. Human interaction is fucking exhausting. Because I don't like small talk and I don't like loud people. Inversion and social anxiety make human contact a terrible experience. Zero drama. I'm a mix between an introvert and an extrovert. I like spending time and talking to other people but I can only recharge my energy when I am alone. So if I have to socialize for two to three days in a row, I would make an effort to spend the next day completely alone to get back into good headspace, because I get tired from socializing. So I can fart in peace. I'm not annoying anyone. I'm a bit of a weirdo and I like being alone because I don't have to explain why I said something or did something. I feel like when I'm around people that I have to significantly tone down my personality, which can get pretty exhausting. Yup. You just said exactly what I was trying to say in an earlier comment in this thread. I constantly feel I have to tone down me being me. I just want to let my weird flag fly as in it's only weird to you. It that you don't you don't understand my thought processes, methods, and sense of humor. Nonetheless I have to tone it down BC my unconventionally makes you uncomfortable. Because I don't know how to interact with people well. I like to be alone with my thoughts. I am a deep thinker and like to have time to figure things out on my own. I love to daydream. I daydream vividly, all the time, to the point where something is probably wrong with me. I daydream when I'm with other people but I'm better at it when I'm alone. Being around a group of people is awkward since I don't really talk to people I don't know. I can do the random things that are deemed unacceptable to do in public. 
Don't have to worry about people seeing me scratching my boob or undoing a wedgie. So I can get shit done. Because I need my peace and quiet. I feel pretty lonely all the time. When I'm around people I feel alienated because I don't seem very happy and I'm really distant and quiet, which causes others to question me and put me on the spot. It's just my personality, nothing is bothering me. It reached the point where I've lost friends and had to put on a fake personality so people didn't think I was weird, which adds to the loneliness. I like to be alone because I can feel comfortable about being myself. I don't have to worry about being called a downer, melodramatic, or suicidal. For the record, I am not considering suicide. I hate having to switch between all of my friends' sense of humor every time I talk to them. Also playing video games is much better. It's peaceful and I don't have to be hyper aware of everything around me. I do what I want without having to be considerate of others. People are nice until they become exhausting. I don't want to be rude but I have learned over the years that when I am done socializing I am done socializing and there is really no point in me continuing to socialize if I can't draw no enjoyment out of it. I won't be no fun to be around any longer anyway. Because I have to sort my feelings and thoughts out which is crucial to me. In order for me to live with people, I first must have a control over my own thoughts and emotions and be in tune with myself. Just like there is a world outside, there is one inside of us, experienced through blissful loneliness. I have really sensitive hearing. I wear earplugs but it is only a dampener. I have noise cancelling headphones but it is only a dampener. And people are loud. I'm happy with my own company and when I clean my house it stays clean. I've worked in various hospitality industries my entire life. My professional life is jam crammed full of smiling at people and pretending to give a shit and just generally making sure I have what I call my customer service mask on at all times. That mask is heavy, and it's exhausting to have to wear it. If I'm by myself, I'm on my own schedule. I don't have to smile if I don't want to. I don't have to small talk. If I could live in a tiny cabin in the woods somewhere in the middle of nowhere New England, just me and my dog, and some goats and chickens, I would gladly grow old and die there. My husband is literally the only person I've ever met that doesn't drain my battery, so to speak. He can stay with me and my animals in my New England hermit cabin. Everyone else can go fuck right off. I am my own best friend. I don't have to explain or justify myself to anyone else. I can do what I like, with whom I like. If I want to play on my PS4 for 20 hours there is no one telling me to stop. Having been married then divorced for nearly 40 plus years being on my own is a blast. I also just love being at home. I don't miss working, as that was very stressful being around people and all that entails. Now I can invite people into my space when I want to. Being retired is the most awesome thing. I can jam out to my music without judgment. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe.